now we have our three half angle formulas or um, five formulas depending on how you count these notice that the tangent one has three different forms this one is not in your book it's extra secret information okay so we are using these formulas so that we can deal with half angles this will also allow us to find some more exact values of some trig functions so notice that we've got plus or minus on these square roots plus or minus on the square roots means that you're going to choose either the plus the square root or the minus the square root depending on where this angle u over 2 is so let's say we're dealing with the sine and let's say that u over 2 was in quadrant 1 if it was in quadrant 1 then the sine's positive if it's if u over 2 is in let's say quadrant 3 then we're going to use the negative one because sine is negative for that angle same thing is true about the cosine just different quadrants and then the reason why we've got three different ones for tangent is you can see just like on the power reducing formulas after you prove the sine and the cosine to prove this one for the tangent you just divide the sine by the cosine um, and then the other two come from the fact that you can simplify that square root in a couple of different ways so what we're going to do is we're going to prove one of these I don't remember which one and apparently it's the sine okay so to prove the sine of 2u notice that over here we've got ourselves just a u and also notice that this kind of looks like like taking the square root it kind of looks like the power reducing formulas let me backtrack here just a second where we just take a square root the only difference is that this is u and this is 2u so what we're going to do is just write in here put ourselves a u over 2 so if I start with sine squared of u over 2 and then I'm going to simplify this down to make it look like this formula applying the um, power reducing formula that should be equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 u over 2 all divided by 2 now I just have to simplify this right here and it should be pretty simple that's 1 minus whenever you multiply this 2 and this 2 they cancel out leaving us with cosine of u all over 2 now I deal with this squared by taking the square root of both sides and I'll have sine of u over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine u all over 2. You would do much the same thing for the cosine. 